So a few years ago, I had to take somebody to the ER, right, to the hospital emergency room. It was quite a scary situation. And so to help kind of reduce my stress and freak out levels, I actually spent a lot of time watching very closely what was going on. So you'd be watching the nurses and you're watching the senior nurse and you're watching the doctor to see what they're doing and how they're doing it. Sitting in that emergency room, it became very clear very quickly that there was a structure, that there was an organization to what was going on. So the nurses all knew what they needed to do. The senior nurse knew what he needed to do. And the doctor knew what he needed to do. And everybody else knew what the others were doing. And then there was a whiteboard on one of the walls. It tracked who the people were, but obviously very importantly, who the patient was and what their problem was, what the fix was to, to get them healthy again, and what the steps needed to happen in between. And so it was very simple to see who needed to do what and when. There were three things that I took from this, that I took back to my own projects. So the first one being this idea of simplified processes. So to be very clear right, as to exactly who, who needed to do what and what those steps were. Which then leads me into the second thing, which is making sure that everybody understood what they needed to do. So again, if you're starting with those simple processes and simple steps, it makes it a lot easier for people to understand what they need to do. And then the third thing that I took from it was training. And again, because everybody knew what they needed to do, they, need, they knew how to do it. So if you've got all of those things, if you've got those simple steps, everybody knows what they need to do, and everybody understands how to do it, you've immediately set yourself up for success. I'm Paul Fleming McCullough. Be helpful.